A local organization dedicated to helping veterans in our community is inviting you to have a difficult conversation. Next Chapter is a collaborative that helps vets and their families find mental health resources. They also work to lower suicide rates among veterans. And tomorrow they're hosting an event on that very topic at UC Health Park. That's where 11 News reporter Aaron Vitito is now. Aaron, conversations about suicide can be very hard for a lot of people, but UC Health says this is a family event. And Lindsay, that is exactly the point. Tomorrow morning, a lot of families are going to be here participating in several activities aimed at helping them find resources around the community. UC Health says it's important to have those open conversations about topics like suicide so you can identify issues and find resources and makes it easier to come forward and seek help. We use this term called to action, which is to raise the community's awareness around speaking about suicide really to give people permission to talk about it, to reduce that stigma. And for veterans especially, this can be a hard conversation to have, but the numbers show that it's already helped having that conversation. According to Damian McCabe with UC Health, historically, one in three suicides in our region has been vets. But since they've launched Next Chapter, he says he's been able to lower that number a little bit. It's gone down. In our first year of operation, we were able to get that um, not just plateaued out so it didn't keep growing, but reduced to one in four. And he says they want to keep lowering that statistic. And tomorrow, starting at 8.30 a.m., you have the chance to help them out by attending their event. It starts with a 5K, and you can register by using that QR code you should be seeing on your screen right now. After the race, they will be doing several free training sessions so you know what to do if you or a loved one is struggling. They say being able to identify those signs of struggling is key to getting that suicide rate down, and knowing what resources are available in your community is paramount to getting that rate down to zero. Live in Colorado Springs, Aaron Vitito, KKTV, 11 News. All right, Aaron, thanks so much. And if you are looking for more resources for vets and family members, you can go to our website and click on Find It. You can also go to our app as well. And of course, there's a suicide hotline number, which is just 988. If you're a vet, you can dial 1.